shooting that far is totally normal. Well, that's good to know because I like. Alrighty, it. who's next? Everybody knows the average. Hey, what are you? What are you watching there? The one about the twins, where one eats vegans and one eats meat. Ah, yes, you are what you eat. It's really interesting. Um, I know, Dr. James, that's why I'm telling you, but like now I have to eat vegans. Well, you don't have to do anything, but there does seem to be a pretty compelling uh -huh. argument for significantly reducing the amount of meat in your diet. Uh -huh. And it's not just based on this show, Jessica, there's a pretty compelling and growing body of research that suggests that a primarily plant-based diet can reduce your risk of heart attack, stroke, dementia, inflammation in your body, especially in your blood vessels, reduce your visceral abdominal fat. Uh -huh. I mean, you didn't just call me fat. Ooh, no, sorry, my friend. I, I did not. But you didn't just call me my frat. And that's actually not cool. We're, we're, still, we're still doing this? Yeah, yeah we're okay. still doing that. Oh, oh, alrighty. But Jessica, listen, that's not to say that switching to a plant-based diet is super easy. For many black and brown folks, for poor and marginalized people, access to fruits, veggies, legumes, whole grains, things like that is super hard. That is so not slay. Why is that? Well, that is a different video, M Jessica. And you're right, it's so not slay. So getting away from it is really hard. Um, I can like totally handle a challenge, Dr. James. I'm tough. Uh, but tough or not, I still want you to try it slowly because it'll make sticking to it a lot easier. And even doing it slowly, you're still gonna get tons of benefits for your health and the planet's. Okay, I'm going to Whole Foods. I hear it's like really cheap. Well, Jessica, um, uh, what? She'll learn. 